Hi everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. I took one day off from the DD and all you know what breaks loose with the Big Ten's meteorites. Let's get into it. But let me first say this. I don't know as I sit here today how this impacts the Big 12 or the Pac-12. It could be really good news. It could be horrible news. We're going to have to know a little bit more about these contracts and how the media outlets are going to react in terms of buying more media rights because the Big Ten's going to cash some very big checks. As we know, Fox holds the main rights to Big Ten football, and they want a great game, and it'll be the top game in the Big Ten every week coming out of their Big Noon kickoff show, their answer on Fox to College Game Day. It's better, actually but they have the rights to their first choice. Whatever game they want will be at 11 Central, noon Eastern, every Saturday. That's right, that, that 11 a.m. game here in the Central time zone that we all kind of don't like gets great ratings. But they have other conflicts in other parts of their schedule, including baseball commitments that really make it a little more difficult to show a bunch of games. So the Big Ten was selling the next couple levels of their rights off, and CBS and NBC have apparently won the battle. ESPN has pulled out of the negotiations. What does that mean? ESPN slash ABC, ABC back in 1966, have been covering Big Ten football since then. More than 50 years they've been showing Big Ten games either on ABC or ESPN and it's going to end in the next couple years. They are out at ESPN. And NBC and CBS are taking over other rights. NBC wants a night game from the Big Ten. CBS wants the midday game, that 2.30 p.m. Central kickoff that everyone loves. They will have those games, but they will not have the top choice. So they're paying each $350 million a year to not have the best game of the week in the Big Ten not have it. That's $700 million the Big Ten's going to get for their secondary rights. For their secondary rights. It's absolutely stunning what these entities are paying the Big Ten. And I don't know if that means the Big 12 can expect one of these entities to come in for more programming or if they're done. And it's all going to be about ESPN. If there's no one to compete with ESPN, they're going to pull exactly what they did with the Pac-12 and lowball the offer. We will see what's happening. And by the way, Notre Dame's got a big announcement coming up, and we will cover that very soon.